it became a monster of a program. That made me realize that what I do really has a good effect on people. Head Start taught me the true meaning of service and giving to others. We have an impact on people's lives. It, it helps you see how fortunate you have been. We felt like we were doing a good thing, and, and I think we were. Makes you appreciate the little things in life and not take anything for granted. This shows that service can be really enjoyable. Operation Head Start for me was my first chance to see the outside world. I think for everybody in the future, it jump starts them into service. My first year here at Archbishop Rummel, I had a class of uh, Algebra One and Geometry students. And I also taught a class at uh, the University of New Orleans. It was um, math and liberal arts majors. And I had them do a project about how math was involved in something that they, uh, a hobby or something in their job, and they had to present that to the class. So I had a t teacher that was from a Head Start school come show me how they taught math to these at-risk pre preschoolers, and she told me what she did, and I knew I had a bunch of students that uh, could use working with kids like this to get some positive reinforcement of giving a little bit of themselves. So after thinking about it and hearing her presentation, I, I came back to her and I said, can I take a group of kids that could volunteer at your school? And she got it approved, and we took a group of about 20 students there. It was the East Bank Head Start School in Jefferson and we went had a very successful trip um, Mr. Arthur's the yearbook moderator told me to take some pictures and give it a name so I didn't know what to think about a name I, I had no idea so I just kind of threw together it was a head start school and uh, so I decided to say operation head start it was a bunch of small children kindergarten pre-k and the guys just played with the kids and the kids loved it, both the students from Rummel and the little kids from the Head Start program. They kept calling that first group the Motley Crew because nobody would want to ever take them out. And here I am taking them out in the public to go volunteer with little kids and be positive male role models. So I guess the, appealing of, the appeal of that then anything was a, a reason. I thought I was doing some good for them, and I, but I only thought it'd be a one-time thing started thinking about reading to kids about say like Donald Duck or Winnie the Pooh and maybe bringing somebody in a costume in you know to add to the hopefully attention of the story and and to get kids focused on it and promote literacy and things like that and I think we bought Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore and Tigger first. Those were the first costumes that we bought and were the first ones we used. And I just had no idea how popular it would be. But like my students tell me, it makes them easier to connect with the group they're working with. I went out to um, Magnolia and I, I met some of the clients and Miss McDuff took me on a tour and we just started signing them up one by one to, to uh, allow our students to go to these places for service hours. We service adults with disabilities in the community. We try to go to a lot of community outings and get them in the community. We had never worked with special needs groups before. Special needs adults and children with handicaps. These individuals coming up to you and saying hello like they've been knowing you for years and making you feel like you're part of a family and, and just the warmth and, and you know when, they tell, when they, they tell you thank you, it's genuine. Also, they've given us bingos and dances and had different outings with them. That has really supported our folks. I got connected through Angel's Place uh, several years, let's see, I think the third year, fourth year into the program. I had gotten an award from WDSU Channel 6 called Making the Difference Award. So I started watching other broadcasts of other award winners. Miss Guilford, Miss Anita Guilford, she had gotten it a few months later. And I saw what she did. I saw her story um, about how she started Angel's Place, and I thought it was really appealing 
Angel's Place is a respite care facility for children with life-threatening diseases. I had asked her to come speak at one of our award ceremonies as a guest speaker and tell her story, but then she invited me to come to their Christmas party and I had Santa and the elves already. And we went and did their first Christmas party. It was in a little bitty office. When I saw how cramped it was with all these families and on this little office, I said, no, we gotta move it out of here. And I offered the Raider Room the next year and we've been service partners since then. We also incorporated the LaSallian Service Summit program, which brings uh, students from Archbishop Rummel's Operation Head Start to meet with other students at another LaSallian high school in the country. And we uh, do service in the area. We um, exchange ideas on service uh, in a summit type setting. Uh, we share faith and we learn about each other's communities. So we've done this in Denver at Mullen High School, in Santa Fe at uh, St. Michael's, in Pasadena at LaSalle, and more recently in Philadelphia at LaSalle University. And we've even done um, alumni summits where alumni come back to uh, do work, and we've done those in Pensacola with a mission and uh, in Memphis with Christian Brothers High School.